Oh my god. Oh my god. Watermelon, bananas, and brown sugar. <laughs> anyway, you saw the thumbnail. What I eat for lunch, man. Lunch, all oh, my meals are big. They really are. And I told you, it's almost always predicated on what sort of working out and I'm doing in the morning and how I have to structure my day and all this sort of stuff. There, there's really and truly no rhyme or reason as to when I eat, how much I eat. I'm not intermittent fasting, so putting it in a 20, 20 uh, a four hour window, that, that's asinine. We'll get to that at some other time, but it, it's silly. The point is, guys, when I'm hungry, I eat. And I eat as much as I want. I don't eat necessarily. I keep, as you know, to a very strict fruit, veggie, corn, rice, peas, potatoes, and some veggies, you know, that type of thing. Um, I don't eat pizza. I don't eat burgers. I don't eat veggie burgers. I, no, that's what I stick to. And if you want to call that confining, go ahead. But I can eat so much food as compared to anybody on the paleo guys or any other, um, you know, um, Weight Watchers or anything. I'm eating a minimum 3,000 calories a day, minimum. Now, I'm very active. I ride my bike and I'm all that sort of stuff, but I'm eating so much food. I never, never, never restrict calories. Never. I tried paleo and keto just to see what it was like way back in the day, and I was miserable. After a week, I, I God, I was miserable. The notion that paleo and keto is not restrictive is, is just a myth. Man, you can't eat pasta. You can't eat uh, veggie pizza. You can't eat rice. You can't eat potatoes. You can't eat bread. Oh, it's unbelievably restrictive. And you can't eat a lot. You have to restrict your calories like you wouldn't believe. Oh, you live like that, bud, not me. You better have some coffee nearby or you're not getting yourself to work. Get on to something else. But anyway, guys, we talked this morning. Now, this morning I was talking about a different topic, but you saw depression and all that sort of stuff. But you saw what I was eating at that time. That was about uh, six o'clock this morning. Maybe later, I'm not even sure. Up to that point, I had done a bike ride. I had meditated. I got some work done. I had been up for several hours. Okay. All I was doing, I started off with a uh, liter of fresh water. Sleep, water, sugar. That's not necessarily sugar water. You want to keep the, the, the water, the fresh water, flushing you out, keeping your mouth dry, uh, wet rather, lubricated and whatnot. Okay. Um, and I was drinking, as you saw, sugar water. I was also drinking juice. Now, the reason for that is I want energy. I want mental clarity, the whole nine yards, but I don't want to get filled up because I'm going to work out. Okay. Now, after my, I always, depending on, um, depends on the schedule, but for the most part, I split up my workouts over the course of the morning. Okay. And uh, I finished my work, first workout about seven o'clock. Yeah, about seven o'clock, seven thirty maybe. Doesn't matter. And I did took three hours off, got some work done, and I started again working out at about ten thirty, riding my bike. Okay. During that time, I didn't want to have a big meal because I didn't want my stomach full. Now. I, on the other hand, I refuse to go hungry. Ain't gonna happen. I have never done it, well, again, a couple of times I try it. But I'm not going hungry. Life's too short, man. Life is too short. So, the juice, the sugar water, I was not the least bit hungry. My energy was crazy, it still is. Now remember, 
I got up at about three o'clock. This is nine hours later, guys, and I'm still ready to go. Now, this is my first uh, solid food of the day. And again, that's not necessarily because I'm trying to intermittent fast or any that restrict calories or anything. Trust me, I get my calories in. As I said, it is always predicated on my workouts. I don't want to work out on a full stomach. I st I'm through working out for the day for the most part. And I'm starting the uh, solid food. This, about 12 o'clock, this will last me a couple hours. This batch I hear. I will have some more fruit. I might have some single bananas. I might have some prunes. I might have some dates. They're all up there. Then I will start the cooked food. I'm going to have uh, an enormous plate of rice and corn, I think, for... Um, for dinner tonight. I uh, like to stop eating about four o'clock. If I eat at five or six, it doesn't really matter. But I like to start at four because I don't like to go to bed while I'm still digesting food, okay? There's one reason and one reason only for that. When you are sleeping, that is when you are doing the bulk of your rejuvenating. Your body galvanizes into action the, the um, endocrine system, the, the uh, lymphatic system, the uh, immune system, they all galvanize into action to rejuvenate your body, okay? If you have a full stomach, the digestive system and the immune system and all these things are working to digest the food instead of rejuvenating the cells in the body, okay? So I like to get as much as I can the digestion out of the way before I go to bed, before I fall asleep. I go to bed about 8 o'clock, 8.30, and I will read until I fall asleep. That might be one, literally one minute after I fall asleep, I, I get to bed, or it might be a half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on what I'm reading and all that sort of stuff. But I sleep like a baby. I really and truly do sleep like a log, and the sugar has a lot to do with it. The sugar elevates your serotonin levels, your melatonin. I mean, it just relaxes you. You sleep like a baby. All right? All right. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Okay.